When you think of Carmel, apples, fall fairs usually come to mind, right? Yeah, absolutely. And Every today, time. we're going to show you how to bring that fair flavor home or to someone else's home with Emily Love from Make Food Lovely. Hello, She's here Emily. To show us how to Hello. Hello. Cool. What is that? A creative caramel apple charcuterie board? Yes. Yes. So, so fun. One time when pre-kids, I had a Halloween party. I did too. I said Back thrilled. in the day. <laughs> long, long ago, I had, a nice. I had a Halloween party. And I had made a caramel apple board. And how we had done it was we had taken mason jars and filled them with chocolate chips or white chocolate chips caramel. And then we had put them in a slow cooker that was filled with water. And I just turned on low. And it just kept melting. And then people could come and they could dip into it. And that was about a decade ago. And I completely forgot about it until I was talking to your producer, Becky, and she was just like, oh, what about a caramel apple board? I was like, wait, I yeah. know this idea. I know this idea. I know this idea. <laughs> so, but now it was way more fun to plan because this is something that I would actually do for my kids and right, their right. friends if we were to have a Halloween party, which we're planning on it. So we chose a bunch of different toppings that would be fun to dip the apples into. So we have mini marshmallows, mini chocolate chips, lots of fun sprinkles, including candy eyeballs. We have some shredded coconut. Mm -hmm. So what, and then we have caramel chocolate and white chocolate so you just take an apple slice put it on a skewer mm -hmm. and then you can dip it and create whatever kind of caramel apple you oh so you dip it like and then dip have. it into your yep, topping and then dip it into your topping that is remarkable mm -hmm. That's great. and tell you have to talk to us about this okay <laughs> so this is um this is my lazy mom's hack That's because amazing because I, I need all of the heck. So this is just a Pillsbury cinnamon roll that I popped the can. You heard that noise, yeah, yeah. and then oh, so all the best. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then all of the cinnamon rolls fell out. And what I did was with the cut cinnamon roll, as I took Baker's twine and I almost tied it like a little present. So I took it and I tied it across. And then I flipped it upside down, and then I crossed it again, and then flipped upside down and crossed it again, and then that allowed me to, and then I baked it just on the regular baking ingredients, or baking instructions that the Pillsbury can said. And then when they came out, I used a little cinnamon stick as the stem, and then you got these little pumpkin cinnamon rolls. That's so adorable. So, oh my gosh, so, <laughs> so adorable. Clever. And the video is on your Instagram. The video's that. on my Instagram, so you can watch all the actual step-by-steps of it. Um, I've also used that same technique around um, puff pastry that I wrapped around brie, mm -hmm. so then you have like a puff pastry baked brie that looks like a pumpkin. I feel like we've done that on the show. Yeah, before. I think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, well, that's all the information. By the way. Make food lovely. And as uh, you have done today, you have made food lovely once again. <gasps> Thanks, guys. Charcuterie classes, order custom boards, uh, all the information's right there. Have a great day. Thank you so much, Emily. Thanks, Thank Emily. You guys. Great to see Thanks for you. having me. Have a good weekend.